<clears throat> Hi, hello, hello. How's everybody doing? Uh, I am great. This is Darlene. I am with Featherweight Doctor here in beautiful Sandpoint, Idaho. It is a stunningly gorgeous, sunny, but cold day today. It's 43 degrees outside, which is a bit brisk in my opinion. I keep thinking that like Mother Nature is going to like, you know, give us all a break from this winter stuff, but she's not letting up on North Idaho yet. Uh, this morning, evil twin sister Denise got five inches of snow. I'll show you her tree in her yard. I was like, what in the heck? This was Denise's yard this morning. <laughs> come on, Mother Nature, come on. Let us have spring. We're ready. We've been good kids. <laughs> All right, I'm just pulling up my feeds here. Um, so it has been... Uh, a great week. Um, traffic has been down here on the bridge. I think last week was uh, the school district's spring break. And I think actually a lot of people left to go to spring break, which is, it's nice. Um, but it was a little bit, it's been a little slow around here. Um, the y'all have been keeping me busy online though. So don't worry. I didn't like, you know, take a rest or anything. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna say uh, I'm gonna say hi to some friends, and then we're, I'm gonna tell you what we're doing tonight. We're sipping so I'm actually not sewing because I'm working on some uh, t-shirt quilt stuff. Um, <clears throat> so let me say hi to some friends, and then we'll we'll get going. I'll tell you why we're working on t-shirt quilts tonight. So let me go over here to the YouTube's YouTube. Okay, so Pam Wardell is on. Hello, Pam. Uh, Missy's on from Redmond, Washington. <laughs> she says she wants to garden, <laughs> but it's too cold, so she's sewing. <laughs> Hi, Margaret from Kentucky. Thanks for uh, joining us. And Julie Campbell's on from Tennessee. Loaded bobbins and large something at the ready. Let's have fun, she says. Okay. Elizabeth Sowers is on. Hi, sweetheart. Um, okay, let me say hi to my buddies over here on Facebook. We have Debbie's on from Kentucky. Hi, Debbie. Uh, Kim's on from Manitoba. Linda's on from Tennessee. Kathy Zoka's on. Hello, hello. Afternoon, wind and snow up on the hill right now. I know. I know. Uh, Mary Carnes is over on Facebook. YouTube, Glory Ann's on. Hi, Glory Ann, we've missed you. And Polly's on from UK, yay. Mel and Joe are on. So happy to be here, she says. Lisa's on from Phoenix. Bernadette's on from Ontario, Canada. Hello, hello. <laughs> she forgot it was Friday. Woman, how, now, how do you forget Friday? I, I kind of get forgetting Monday, but Friday, come on. Cindy Matthews is on, Bonnie's on. She says, happy Easter to all. Odie's on. She's counting blocks for us. We have a block, Ukraine block update also coming to you. Kathleen Rogers. Uh, Angel's on from Houston. Hi. Nancy's on from Lake Stevens. Deanna's on from Napa Vine. <gasps> Jim Reese, Sandy's son. Hi, Jim. <laughs> she says, cheers. Cheers, everybody, to Jim and our, all of our new friends. Therese's on from Knoxville. Hi, Therese. Um, let's see. Pam's on from Maine. Gwen's on. Good, good, good. Kendra's on. Hi, Kendra from California. <laughs> What's in? Oh, you're sipping an iron brew. I am sipping a Pinot Gris. Um, it's delicious. And it's kind of crisp and refreshing, even though it's like colder than I'll get out outside. It's sunny and it makes me want crisp wine. Lisa says, I knew it was Friday, but didn't realize it was four already. Good things. Good thing I get notifications. Some of my buddies actually have their series set up to notify them when I come on so they don't miss it. Um, hi, Gwen. Hi, Judy, Colby. And all right. So I have a little unofficial announcement. Mary uh, and Kathy 
which are Franny's sisters, are coming to quilt camp. What the heck? Y'all better behave yourselves. Y'all better behave yourselves. <laughs> Hi, Christy Willis from Mesa. Thanks for tuning in. Oh, <laughs> wait, Sandy Reese. Is it you or Jim who's on? I can't tell. We're so happy. Hi, Karen from Ohio. She's ready to sip. She's ready to sip. Notice there's no sewing. Okay. So tonight, I'm actually not going to be sewing either. Um, the last two Fridays have been um, t-shirt quilt days for me. So I'm doing a class, a three-part class here with some local students on how to make a t-shirt quilt. And, oh, okay, we have both the Reese's on. Okay, we'll try to behave ourselves. <laughs> Yeah, see, Alexa reminds Angel when the shows are so she doesn't forget. Jim Reese, leave your mama alone. You're not going to get any street cred with me here because if my son was on here bugging me, he'd be in trouble. <laughs> um, anyway, so I owe my last nephew. I have three nephews with my older sister. Denise, he did not have any babies. So I owe my last nephew a graduation present from last year. And it's going to be a t-shirt quilt. That's what I make all of them. But uh, I haven't started it yet. So I thought tonight I would begin the process of destructing his shirts. Judy, the last day to send blocks for Ukraine is Monday. I don't usually work Monday, but I will be in... Um, in my email. So what we're going to do is Mel is Mel's final count up to right now is 50. She's gotten 50 blocks. We need 64 in Mississippi, 64 in, um, in central Oregon. So Odie's counting right now to give me the big number, but Mel's at 50. And I know there's a few more people sending things to Mel. Monday is the last day to get the blocks in the mail. I just like them postmarked by Monday and then things can, you know, continue to head out to Odie and um, Mel, who are constructing our quilts. Polly says, no way, yes, the sisters will be sewing, yes, at quilt camp, good lord. Hi, Beth from Minnesota. I just got home from working at the quilt shop, waiting for the hubby to pick up some pizza, got the wine poured, heading to the sewing room later. Welcome, friend. Thanks for joining us. Okay. Odie, do we have a count to your counting? There were 43, she had 43, and then she went out to the mailbox, and there were five more packages out in the mailbox. So I think she's counting right now. Um, okay, so there is a process for making a t-shirt quilt. <laughs> Let's see, save, have saved years and years of t-shirt quilts from classic car shows for a quilt. Hint, hint, Sandy Reese. Oh, now you want a quilt, Jim. Hmm, that's interesting. <laughs> yes, Elizabeth, I think your 17 have showed up. Okay, yes. I, Mel, you've got Elizabeth Sowers 17 blocks, right? I think. Oh, great. Gwen, good. She sent three off. Fabulous. <laughs> Elizabeth is the power sower. We had one gal who heard about our project. Her name was Chris. She sent, she made 50. Five zero blocks, sent 25 to Mel, 25 to Odie. And Mel, Bonnie Pelton also wants to know if you got hers from Illinois. So what we're going to do tonight is the very, very first step in the t-shirt making process, which is cutting everything up so that it's flat. So I'm going to grab, sorry, I forgot to grab my scissors. Okay, the first thing you need, <laughs> first thing you need, <clears throat> okay, Elizabeth, I'll keep you posted, is a sharp pair of scissors and a pile of t-shirts. I have a box. This is my box of t-shirts. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take the shirt and I'm going to cut from in the armpit underneath the sleeve all the way down the side seams on both sides. Well, actually, before I do that, there's nothing on these sleeves. So I'm going to cut off both the sleeves. Hi, Kathy. I'm going to cut off both the sleeves. 
uh, first. So, because there's nothing on the sleeve we want to keep on this particular shirt. So once we get um, the sleeves off, so now we have no sleeves. So I'm going to cut the little chest, the little chest patch out on the front and then his number on the back. So I'm going to do that by slitting the shoulders to the neck on both sides first. I do big oversized cuts first and then what I call the rough cut, then I stabilize, then I cut down my final project here. Okay, let's see. Cindy Matthew says, catch your best later. Got to head to the fabric store. I get it, girl. Go get it. Have to pick up a couple things to finish costumes for the Pirates of Penzance show this weekend. Have a wonderful weekend. Fun. Fun, fun, fun. <laughs> That's Elizabeth. Oh, it was something. She was making the blocks. Elizabeth made 17 because it was something to do while the husband watched the Masters last weekend. Girl, who can watch golf? That's all I can say. All right, now I'm going to cut the side seams down. So the kind of t-shirts that I, here I'm going to lower this so you can see what I'm doing. The kind of t-shirts that I quilt are a little different than the average one. I don't like the kind that are like the same size block here. I got an idea. Let me do this. Let me do that. Let me see if I can get the other camera on so you guys can get a better look. Oh, good. Okay, good, guys. Mel, are you still at your count is 50 from earlier? Oh, Elizabeth Scott. You should totally make a quilt. What a wonderful, like, I love doing quilts for people. We talked about this because I feel like it's a big hug. So it sounds like you need a hug. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm going to get my other camera stand real quick so you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay, so now I've got two pieces. I've got, this is the back piece. <gasps> okay, 50 today. Okay. Fabulous. And then this is the front Okay, so I think my camera mount is behind the camera. I'll be right back. Terribly ill-prepared today. I apologize. Uh, uh, Polly, I have not heard from GDP. Um... She is not on. Judy P, are you out there? I um, <clears throat> I sent her a little happy because everybody needs a little happy if they're stuck in the hospital. Um, okay, let me just go to my, get the camera on. <laughs> Hi, Franny. Uh, let's see. Uh, and Kim has six more coming <laughs> from Canada. Okay. Let's see, share device, share camera. And grab that. Turn this around, selfie. Okay. Let's see here. Put this over here. There, now you guys can see kind of what I'm doing a little bit better. Okay. Okay. I think we got it. Someone needs to fire me. All right. So I've got these shirts more. I'm going to, I think I'm going to leave. I think I'm going to cut the 15 out of the back and maybe the logo on the front chest part, but I still don't need the sleeves. So I'm going to cut the sleeves first. 30. Whoa, 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 whoa. What was that? I missed that. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> if I gave you Odie's address, don't 
send Odie any more blocks. <laughs> she is 73. We're Odie's good. <laughs> it's okay if there's more coming. I think what we're going to do is, um, I think what we're going to do, because I think we're going to have more than we need. So um, I think we're going to make a smaller lap quilt for dad too. But I'm, gonna, I'm just going to have Odie and Mel send me the extras above and beyond the 64 that we need for um, for each quilt. And then we'll go from there. Hi, Patty Smith from Missouri. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> oh, yay. That's a great idea, Elizabeth. <laughs> I know. I hope I hope Judy P gets to come home for Easter too, Polly. Okay. There's that. There's that. <laughs> okay, I don't uh oh, I don't have that sound. Oh no, you don't have sound. I can make another if needed. Okay. I think we're going to, if we're going to have extra, I, that's exactly what we're going to do is we're going to make another, another quilt, a lap quilt for the dad when he can get over here. Okay. <laughs> Mel said that she's going to be on holiday. I expect every square to look like a fish. She says <laughs> they go diving on their holidays. Okay. See, did I miss anything? Yes, Deanne, they were to be eight and a half unfinished. Correct, the blocks. Oh, Mary says she can't. <laughs> she plays golf, but she doesn't watch it. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I know, I want to go to Grand Cayman too, Kathy, from East Texas. For sure. I know someone's about to scold me for cutting into my hand. I'm going to be careful, I promise. Um, one of the things I wanted to show you guys is there's lots of different stabilizers, as I mentioned, once you kind of get this destruction part done, then, um, then you go into what I call the rough cut mode. Then you stabilize with an interfacing and then you start forming your quilt. Hi, Kathleen Sheffield in Montana. Got bandages. Oh, good. You guys <laughs> live your life on the edge. Whatever. This is my favorite t-shirt quilt interfacing. It's, we sell it here at the store and on our website. What it is, it, what I like about it is if you have a, if it's a quilt for a boy or they have like those nylon-y jersey t-shirts for their like sports teams, you can use this particular interfacing on both the, um, <clears throat> the athletic shirts as well as regular t-shirts. So that's why I like um, this interfacing the best, but first you have to cut everything up, which takes the longest amount of time. How would you, boop, 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 boop. I do not limit myself to hundred percent cotton. These are all nylon, like sports jerseys. How would you be able to cut those into blocks? Not easy to cut without it. Yes. So, so there's the destruction mode where I'm rough cutting or around cutting everything up real large. And then I call it the rough cut, which is where I kind of decide what the end all size is going to be. And then I stabilize and then I cut it down. So that way the cut size of the block stays whatever I cut it. That's kind of the process. <coughs> Let's see. All right. More sleeves to cut. How was everybody's week? Does anybody have any big Easter plans? It is really weird this year being empty nesters for Easter. Reagan's with grandma and grandpa. My son lives out of state. It's very strange. Yeah. <laughs> 
I'm probably going to have a huge bag of garbage after this. <laughs> All the extra t-shirt parts. I think one of the common mistakes in making t-shirts is people start to cut without an idea of the grand plan. I think you have to have an idea of how you slowly start making things to the right size, but you don't make it the actual right size until everything's stabilized because otherwise it all just shifts around on you and it's awful. Ooh, Lisa's in Vegas for Easter. Nice. I do the entire piece with stabilizer because I have used pieces. Oh, that's a good idea. I usually use like a regular quilter's cotton as the other fabric. Ray's having a great trip. She's with um, my like adopted daughter. Her name's Geneva today. Um, she's posting pictures from Scottsdale in the shopping malls. I'm so jealous. So jealous. Uh, Mel says, I'm okay if dry folk mail to me after Monday. I'm starting construction on the 25th. Okay, good to know. Uh, Mary says, I have to work all day thanks to some lady quitting with no notice. Oh, that's lovely. That's lovely. Kathy says, I made a t-shirt quilt for my husband four years ago. It's been on his bed constantly since with the exception for washing. Oh, that's sweet. Beth says, we'll be hosting my parents, son, and family with four grands. And brother and his family for Easter, 15 total. Whew. Are you making a ham? What are you making, Beth? Tell us. All the good food. I'm getting the impression <clears throat> that my nephew's number was 15. I don't think I'm going to include all these 15s in <laughs> one quilt. Oh, these is, thank you, Glory Ann. These are Ginger scissors. I've had them a really long time. They're, they have this floral pattern on them. I used to have the matching thread scissors. And one time I was getting on a plane and even though they were under the, um, the size restriction, the TSA agent confis confiscated the matching set. But I still, these obviously were not in my carry-on. So I still have this one. So all I'm doing is cutting at all the seams to try and make it flat. That's awesome. Let's see, Beth with her 15 for Easter says menu will be ham, cheesy or potatoes. I almost said tomatoes. That would not be as good as potatoes. Green bean casserole, steamed veggies, fruit salad, and key lime pie. Oh, and lemon chiffon pie. <gasps> My favorite. Sounds amazing. Yes, Sandy, I think I'm just going to use the number 15 once and in the middle sounds like a total plan. <laughs> There's no reason to have 17 15s all over the, the front of the quilt. This is just the four. This, this must have been one of his young shirts. <laughs> Franny says, my son and his wife sent their tees from high school and college, and I made one for each of them. Oh, that's so nice of you. It's a real labor of love. It really is. See, 15 again. Um, my students are cracking me up a little bit because they're one of them is a really new student, like really new to quilting. So of course, <clears throat> you know, everything that I do, she's like, wow. Um, and she's one that made the mistake of cutting into the shirts years ago, thinking she was going to make the quilt without a class. <clears throat> and, um, and then decided she got in over her head, but all of the blocks were already really small. 
I'm anxious to see the layout of the quilts too. <laughs> you guys are, yes, pictures on Wednesday. For sure, that's a good idea. Kathy, Zoka. I agree, Polly. She said Ginger Scissors are the best, especially the serrated ones. I have to get going on sending Odie. So not only do I have to send my blocks out of here next week, I need to pre-cut some sashing and corner posts and border strips. Yeah, this project. Oh, Judy P. She's on, everybody. She's on. You're killing me with the good food. I'm home. Not perfect, but home. She's home. Yay. So glad you're home, Judy. We were asking about you. So, Judy, is your husband getting takeout for Easter? What are you doing? Since you're laid up still. <laughs> oh, Odie, that's a good idea. Maybe I can, like, put you guys into the video chat. Let's do that. Let's do that on Wednesday. Both you and Mel. I think as long as Mel's over. Oh, Mel's going to be gone. Wait. Maybe, Mel, are you going to be home Wednesdays off? Yeah, out of the country, but yes. Yes. Um, so, Odie, you and I will do that. That's a great idea. <laughs> I say we lay it all out together. That's a great plan. Oh, this was when he was little. Look at the, he was 23 when he was little. He's like a full grown man now. Oh, your daughter is cooking whether I can go. Oh, depends. I hope it, I hope you can get, you can go. Mel may be okay for a video, but I'll have my dive gear with me. <laughs> Girl, good. you take your vacation. We're not going to bug you on your vacation. Yeah, I'm, su I'm sure Mel will send me pictures. She's been sending them the whole time. So I usually start, I usually don't start counting shirts. Like I don't really start keeping track until after I kind of blow them up. Um, it's because I, you can kind of make creative choices with the size of the blocks um, on the fly. And if you know, unless you're like trying to stay within a certain size, then you can kind of, um, you might need to count in advance. I've been randomly sorting them, so I'll just set up and then we can see. Okay, perfect. I like it. Andy and I do not have any big plans. I think we're gonna get together with some friends, maybe have a big bonfire, eat some good food. Should be fun. I don't think I'm cooking. I think I'm just bringing meat to cook. So I had some gift cards come in this week too from people who don't necessarily quilt, but they watch the show and they wanted to, you know, bless the Anna and her son. So I'll be including those gift cards with the care packages once the quilts are done. Oh, you can't have the... <laughs> Judy P says, I did one on the fly. I used fusible web on them. Bef oh, a quilt before I cut in. That That's not a bad idea either. I was all inspired by my students. So I think Andy is in Montana somewhere. He is driving 
to, um, I can't remember what, now I forgot the city name again, to pick up our raft for our river rafting trip this summer. And he should be back here in a little bit. He left at 5 a.m. this morning. 5 a.m. That's an early wake-up call. Shirley Smith, thanks for saying hi. Happy Easter to all. I've been hop shopping with, across northern Minnesota in the stormy weather. Enjoy all the fun you provide. Thanks for saying hi. Bye, Lisa. Thanks for tuning in. Did you guys see the Tula Pink announcement today? Moon something or other. I am in charge of the dogs, Missy. I have Luna over there. She, um, so because I had my full class today, I didn't want to bring her because she's been particularly needy this week. Probably because she's all out of sorts because Ray's gone. And... <clears throat> So I left her at home, and then when my class got out around lunchtime, I went and picked her up and brought her in. So she's asleep over on her her bed over there. She's, y'all, she's getting huge. Hi, George. How's it going in Maryland? But technically speaking, even if they were home, I'd still be in charge of the dogs. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So Mel, the new line is called Moon something or other. And it has snakes on it and owls. There are some finches. Can I just be transparent with you for a moment? Well, just, Tula's my favorite. I am a huge Tula Pink fan. But this new line, I don't know if I love it. No one shoot me, no one shoot me. Honestly, it looks very similar to one she's already done and even in the same color way. <laughs> um, and I'm not sure, so there is one fabric, it has owls on it, and it kind of has like an apricot -y background that I really liked, but I'm not sure, <laughs> Robes on Moose Watch, yes, I'm not sure if I love it. Are you guys mad at me? I'm being honest. Moon something. Yes, she just made the announcement today of the new line coming up. I do not do snakes. I know, Mary, and there's snakes on it. It's very odd. I mean, it's very unlike her, actually. But it's all the same, like, um, it's all like the same color hues as other lines. So I, my buddy and I, um, Stephanie over at Selkirk down the road, we are going to, I'm like, is there something wrong with me? Do I need to go to the hospital? Why do I not think this is like absolutely amazing? It's just, it's not really a takeoff of anything she hasn't done before. Sorry. I mean like curiouser and curiouser with her Alice in Wonderland thing. That was like very different from what she'd done before. Line art very different, but this, this seems like tiny beasts a little bit. Uh, let's see. I heard she was doing a remake of older lines. Yeah. So she is doing, um, she did a, not Elizabeth is Parisville. She did Parisville in some new colorways, but this is like a whole new line called moon, moonrise. I think it's called moonrise. 
that was just announced today. I'm just, if you search on Facebook, Tula Pink Moon something, I'm sure it'll come up. Moon Garden. Thank you, Charlene. I knew someone was going to say it. <laughs> uh, those cotton cutter sleeves are great for cleaning up. By the way, it's, oh, that's a good idea. Look at you, Elizabeth. <laughs> oh, the whole tattoo, it's not done yet. It's only done to right here. This still all has to be shaded. Um, we only got half of it done. But it, but it's going to be, here's the front of the featherweight. It's going to be a whole sewing one. So there's going to be like um, pin cushions and a ruler tape and um, like scissors. I was thinking I'd ask him to put these on there because they're so pretty. <laughs> Thank you, Kathleen Bonita. I knew you guys would come up with it. Moon, <laughs> not moon beams, moon garden. So there's owls. I did like the finch fabric. The finch fabric was pretty cute. Oh, this one will be tough because this is really nylon-y. Hmm. Hmm. He played football. Can you tell? Right, there's that, there's that. It is mostly numbers, I think. <laughs> Kathy Zoka, hi Sandy Fowler. Lots of internet problems on my end. That stinks. Arizona usually has good airs or good um, internet. Non, they don't have issues. Uh, Bernadette says my youngest had my husband's grandfather's barber scissors tattooed on her arm. Oh, that's cool. I like that. You need to add the prescription grease too with those. <laughs> those gorgeous Ginger scissors. I think that's a good idea, Polly. <laughs> it pays tribute to those of us that bloom at night. Oh, that's cool. I didn't watch her live. I only went out and snooped. I creeped on the actual fabric samples. Okay. So my goal, I don't know if I'm going to make my goal, is to get these, get this quilt, the t-shirt quilt, and um, the wedding quilt done before my daughter leaves in like five weeks for Texas. That's my goal. I don't, I don't know if I can do it, but I'm going to try. Y'all, I'm getting a blister. <laughs> I'm getting a blister on my finger. <laughs> oh, that's fun, Kathy. She said, I made several t-shirt quilts. The last one was for a Star Wars quilt for my nephew. That's awesome.
I used to do these kind of things for money. And then I decided that you can't possibly justify the time involved. So this should be my last one I have to make because my, um, it's my last nephew. <laughs> Oh, look at this one. It must have been when he was little. Oh my gosh, that's cute. But I think there's already one of these in there, isn't there? I don't need both of them. Is it the same number? Yeah, I think I think one is enough. Oh, that would be fun. I'd love to see a picture of the t-shirt quilts. Oh, here's another one. No, I don't think we're going to do the same thing twice. Well, that's a big shirt. Jeez. Okay. So this one has a sleeve um, logo. So I'm actually going to keep the sleeve because that looks important. So I'm just going to flatten it like this, and then it's ready for a stabilizer. <laughs> Bernadette says, I know another quilter who refuses the t-shirts to fusible. Yeah, it's, they're a lot of work. Lots of shirts with number 15, Judy. <laughs> oh, let me go back here. D. All right, so I think while um, <clears throat> Andy's on his finishing up his last hour and a half, I'll go downstairs and play some crib at the wine bar with our friends to pass some time. Andy has recently taught me how to play cribbage. Scoring is really hard, but what he did was he put the the app on my phone and took it out of the cheater mode where the computer counts your points for you. So I had to learn the scoring. Um, it actually really helped. I know I'm almost out of wine. What am I going to do? Sandy, my buddy in California says my friend paid to have her husband's P t-shirts made into a quilt for his retirement. He, she paid $190 and I kept thinking that poor quilter is not charging enough. No kidding. Holy guacamole. That is not nearly enough. Rut row, Lena, Luna's up. If she starts whining, this broadcast might be cut short. <laughs> I don't want to clean up a mess in the shop. <laughs> I hear her. She's chewing on her leash. That's weird. My sister um, was such a good baseball mom. I bet she could tell me everything about these shirts, like where the games were and if it was, you know, like a league thing. Look at this. <laughs> Thanks, Deanna. I made two and charged three fifty dollars on both. And one of them gave me four fifty. dollars Nice. I need to make a t-shirt quilt. <laughs> oh, poor Judy. Luna, 
What are you doing? <laughs> oh, <laughs> good night, Judy. Thanks for hanging out for a minute. Let's see. Karen says, cribbage is very popular in the northern states. Hubs from upper Pennsylvania and family in Wisconsin, they play all the time. Yes, Andy and I will usually have at least one game going a week, usually. Uh, Elizabeth said, I made t-shirt quilts for both the grands. Now the in-laws family members want me to make them. Eek! I would just say, you are very busy. <laughs> you are very busy. Okay, let's see here. Oh, a regular t-shirt. Imagine that. This He must have been little. This is little. Oh, look, of course, Texas, of course. Luna, what are you doing? We were never really a big sports family in our household when our kids were young. Ray was a ballerina, but that was about the extent of it. My son liked the um, camaraderie of the team, but wasn't really gifted in that way. And so I remember I had gone to visit my sister one time in Texas, and um, everybody there is football, baseball, basketball. Like it's a sport, it's a sporting state. And I remember the moms, the Texas moms would say, well, what, what does your son do? And I said, uh, he, we're not really a sports family. And they looked at me like I had two heads. And then I said, this is funny. I said, uh, he's quite the fisherman. And they were like, oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> sports or fishermen. Either one of those was acceptable. Isn't that hilarious? Uh oh, she's whining. Here, let me grab. Let me grab her real quick. Hold on, let me grab Luna. Luna, what you doing? Wanna come say hi to the girls? Come here. Come here. Come say hi. Look at how big you are. Look at how big you are. Look at my monster puppy. Say hi, girls. Say hi. Oh, okay. That was in the mouth. You got me in the mouth. <laughs> no picky guns. <laughs> say hi, baby girl. Can you say hi to everybody? Ooh, what's this? What's this? You got me in the mouth again. Look. Look, there's Luna. <laughs> I know you're almost too big to sit on my lap. You're almost too big. What are you guys doing? Oh, you're going to fall off. All right, girl. 
community is signed off so you, so you can go potty. The poodle skirt is not coming. I'm chicken. I can't cut it. I'm going to screw it up. I just know I'm going to screw it up. <laughs> Isn't she big, Bernadette? I know. Say hi, everybody. <laughs> A bunch of high schools here do have fishing teams. That's hilarious. I do have grandsons. Note the plural. There are six plus two bonus have played sports. Some but do not fish or hunt. Oh, your dog's 55 pounds, Bernadette, but thinks she's a lap dog. Yeah, <laughs> Elizabeth. All the girls are happy to see you. Huh, you big girl. Isn't she like the most creamy color of toasted marshmallow? <laughs> Kathy. <laughs> are you shaming me? <laughs> Kathy Lynn Tims Hager in East Texas is like, you can do a poodle skirt. It's just a circle. <laughs> Jim, we're having a 50s car show here in Sandpoint on May 20th and 21st. It's called Lost in the 50s. 700 cars descend out of Canada in the upper corner of the U.S. for the biggest car show. It takes over the whole town. So um, we're doing like mug rugs and coffee cozies and I'm making a poodle skirt. It's going to be fun. Margaret says, I have a 70 pound lab who thinks she, he's a lap dog. Yep. That's what we got here. Uh, wear jeans and roll your, Oh, I could do that too, Missy. I'm going to make the poodle skirt. I just need to like stop being a baby. I'm being a baby. Sandy says, hi, Luna. <laughs> Thanks, Missy. <laughs> All right, girls, I'm going to take her out before we have a mess to clean up in the quilting store. Thanks for hanging out. Oh, you have a poodle skirt, Kathy? <laughs> she looks like her mom. My husband does have a thing for blondes. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Well, it is. I've had to do one for a dance recital. You know, you can, I know you can do this. Thanks, Kathy. Jim says, love it, heard about it. I DJ the world's biggest 50s party called Lead East in New Jersey every Labor Day weekend. That is awesome. I'm going to do like lives from the street, like go down and take pictures or take some video with the cars and stuff. It'll be really fun. Are you growling at me? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a big yawn. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, guys, so much for tuning in. I want everybody to have a wonderful Easter. I, I wish you all health and happiness and get getting to spend time with the family that we choose or the family we're given, or sometimes that's both. You guys are the family I choose, just for the record. Thanks for hanging out. Have a great night. Luna and I are going to go find a tree. <laughs> we'll talk to you on Monday, 4 o'clock Pacific right here on Facebook and YouTube for Ask the Doctor. We'll talk to you soon.